friends how are you Paula here and welcome back to my channel the flavorful home I am actually doing a Saturday morning makes a little late it's either gonna get posted tonight or Sunday morning but better late than never I have been pretty busy and I haven't had the opportunity to participate in the past several weeks I have no idea what week we're on but if you're not familiar with Saturday morning makes it's from the wonderful Jill Norwood of Greenwood Girl cards and I will put a link in the description box I know I sound like a broken record always check the description box it often answers questions that you might have and there are sometimes links in there so since I will be linking Jill's channel, definitely go into the description box. Also follow the hashtag Saturday morning. No, it's Sat Morn Makes. Hashtag Sat Morn Makes. And be prepared to have your mind blown at the talent out there and how it has grown. Okay, so since I haven't had an opportunity in a few weeks and it is Independence Day weekend. I did a bit of a patriotic crafting session. My dad instilled in myself and my brothers such a love of country, um, a love of flag, patriotism. This man, born from two immigrants who came from Sicily, on a boat was so patriotic and so full of love for this country he joined the Navy at 17 and he he just America was everything to him and I love the 4th of July I love the holiday I love what it represents as far as our freedom and so I love doing crafting for Independence Day. The lines I used are old. Remember I said I'm going through my stash? Um, it is the Bow Bunny. This dark one with words, you could see it better back here. Red, white, and blue, America the Beautiful. That is the Liberty Collection from Bow Bunny. And then the rest of the papers are Anthem. Uh, this is Anthem. Um, you can see it better there. I think the script, this might be authentic, and I don't remember the line because I've had it that long. But I believe that might be Authentique's um, Independence day or patriotic line. Anyway, I did this first. I just cut on my silhouette and you could see it's one of those stitched banner pieces. And I did two, one stitched, one knot, and I popped it with dimensional tape. I cut this on my silhouette Again, 99% of my cuts are silhouette. This is a ticket that I cut off of silhouette. I use the Tim Holtz word stickers, ideology. This one says cherish. The stars are silhouette. This is, I believe it's an Echo Park. Um, don't hold me to that, but it's a silhouette print and cut. These are definitely Echo Park firework and I put some stickles the unicorn let me get it because I used a few of these uh, the this is unicorn stickles that I just kind of hit on the fireworks to give it some sparkle. This ribbon I made a bow with um, 
Ribbon of the Month Club. And I used these ribbon as well. I kind of cut fishtail and glued it to this little ticket. And in the corner is Nouveau Glitter Accent. And I'm not sure what the color of that is, but let me see. And I did some red a glitter accent. Let me see if I could find it. Winter Cranberry, this one is called. And that's what's there. And this one is Fresh Snowfall. And I put that and I used my glue gun, hot glue I should say, just to get like this to stick because this is dimensional as well. It's a cut and you press it and it kind of pops up. It's actually supposed to be a garland, but I used it on here. So that was the first thing I made. And then I made a little pinwheel stick. This was a silhouette cut and this is also the anthem paper. I cut some stars and my Italian girl heart just had to add glitter. I can't help it. I just love sparkle. This was another ticket from Silhouette and it said uh, beautiful, the sticker from Tim Holtz's collection. These were just more from Ribbon of the Month Club and I uh, fishtailed them. I made this bow with my bow maker and I cut a little more ribbon from the July collection. Actually, I think it was June of, if not last year, the year before. And I cut this is a doily cut from Silhouette and a straw that, gosh, I got from Hobby Lobby, I think. And I hot glued everything. And I put more of the Nouveau glitter here and here. And you have a little 4th of July pinwheel. I like the way it came. So, a little home decor. I'll probably bring it down and put it in my dining room on my buffet for the fourth. Again, using up my scraps. These have been in my scrap drawer for a long time now. And I'm glad I got to use them and make some more fun stuff. I had also printed out, this is what I do when I create. I print out bunches of things and I decide what and these are Echo Park, I think. I'm not sure what this guy is, but they're all silhouette um, printing cuts. And I print stuff up and I play with it and I decide if I'm going to use it. And I just keep playing until I get what I like. And I like how these came. Coming up is going to be Christmas in July, and I'm excited for that, so I will be participating and using more of my Christmas stash. And I am coming up on a thousand subscribers, friends. I think I'm about 45 subscribers away. So I am going to be putting together a giveaway because I cannot believe that I have accomplished that much. It's, my mind is blown. And so I'm going to be doing that and we can have some fun and look forward to that video coming up soon. Alrighty friends, remember, check out the description box. Remember to search the hashtag Satmorn Makes have a wonderful Independence Day. Be safe, have fun, and go create something wonderful. Till next time. Bye-bye.